Hello, it's Lisa. I am back trying to start back on the health journey and share. I would like to share it with you guys again. So I just posted a short today, which is my first day of Couch to 5K, which I'm starting this year. I am trying to focus more on fitness goals and not on weight loss goals because I have never figured out how to lose weight properly. <laughs> and I think it has a lot to do with not just me failing at everything, but also that the system of diet culture is flawed because if you look around, there's a lot of us um, struggling with weight, overweight, obesity problems, and I come to realize maybe it's not just me, but it's the system of diet culture. So I am trying to view it in a different way. One of the major things I watched in 2023 that has helped me shift my mind and my focus is, um, I think it's called The Blue Zones, it's on Netflix, it's a story or it's a documentary about a guy that goes around to the blue zones, which are places that people live to be a hundred more often than the general population. And he kind of studies why that is and what can make you healthy in the long run and how to strive for longevity. So I really appreciated that documentary and it gave me a lot of perspective. And my goals now for 2024 are more aiming for longevity and health and not the, you know, the six, 60 pounds in six weeks kind of focus that the diet culture always seems to do. So, yeah, I'm excited to start uh, working, on f um, working on health again and trying to build goals that aren't just weight loss. I am excited to see myself progress in fitness. I do, like in the past, I have always been like the person picked last in gym class. So I feel like I'm not good at athletics, sports, or kind of any kind of fitness. But any, But in the past, I do remember enjoying running for the most part so that is why I'm focusing on running at the moment because it's something that I enjoy and I feel like I'll stick to the most and I do enjoy going outside when I can like in the summers and going for a jog so yeah I'm excited to start that so I started my couch to 5k that's my my goal for 2024 is to try to run 5k that I don't know we'll see how it goes but I am starting I started that today the first day was very easy I'm gonna share uh, on the shorts on the YouTube shorts like every day what I'm doing to follow that plan so if you want to join me or just follow along to see what a couch to 5k looks like I will share that um, I also am including my weight every day on the shorts because I think it's important number one for people to know I don't know I think it's important for just an average person overweight regular girl to share on YouTube because then somebody will see normal <laughs> represented a little bit more I feel like a lot of the times on social media we see all the people, all the perfection, or it looks like perfection. So I just want to represent normal, to have a little bit more normal on YouTube. And I want to share my weight as well because I want to show that obese people can learn how to run and also that even if I don't lose any weight learning to run 5k, if I learn to run 5k, I am still ahead. <laughs> I still win in the end because I 
I'm running and I'm exercising and no matter what weight you are, exercise is always good for your health and that's kind of something I'm finally getting in my head is it doesn't matter the results on the scale. If I am running, I'm taking care of my body and my mental health is better if I am exercising and getting fresh air. That's something else I've kind of figured out over the last year of taking a break from weight, tracking weight so much because of being pregnant and postpartum. It's been about a year since I have really tried to lose any weight and I have come to realize through that step back um, that I don't think self-worth or body acceptance comes from like the number on the scale being low. I think it comes more from putting in the work to take care of myself. So if I am tracking habits and knowing I'm taking the steps to keep my body healthy and take care of myself, I believe that will help with mental health and body acceptance. And I I am feeling much better. This postpartum so far has gone much better than my previous one. My previous one was very bad for uh, depression. So thank goodness I am, I have learned and this being my last one, I am taking time and doing it the way I want to do it and not listening to the whatever the outside world tell me how to do postpartum because this is my fourth one and my last one and I kind of figure out a few things of how to care how to take care of myself properly and one of that was being I took the first three months of the baby of the postpartum uh, just to hold her and enjoy her and relax and chill and not worry about my body or working out or dieting or anything like that and that has been a blessing. But now on Sunday, which is in two days, she'll be three months old. So I am getting ready to mentally, I am ready to start working on goals and start feeling proud of myself and working on something that builds confidence and um, mental health, <laughs> happiness. And yeah, as for diet, I am not Doing, I'm not doing any sort of diet plan or strict rules around food because I want to do this slow and steady building a new lifestyle. And for 2024, I chose to focus on adding exercise and not focus on restricting food because that sounded more fun. <laughs> and I'm kind of tired of focusing on restricting food all the time. Plus with all the busyness of my household. Uh, yeah, it's hard to stick to anything because, yeah, we got four kids and my husband and everybody. Nobody wants to stick to my diet plan or give me time to figure out any, like, you know, calculate any things or whatever. It's very difficult. <laughs> I find it hard to stick to anything. But I am trying to remember big general thing over uh, my life, I guess, that vegetables are good for me and they make me feel better and make me happier. They will help me feel happier. Sugar makes me feel terrible if I eat too much of it and will make me feel more depressed because it's correlated with depression and diabetes and all of that. And I know I'm not taking care of myself if I'm binging on sugar. And then also trying to remember to drink lots of water and limit all the other sugary drinks. And yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. And I'm excited to just share a normal person's weight struggles and health journey and trying to continue to fight for better health and better habits because 
it's, yeah, it seems to be always something. And I think for me, it probably will always be a struggle, but that is okay. I think that will be it for now because Levi needs me and yeah, I want to hopefully update more regularly now that my life is starting to get more into a routine. Okay. Thank you so much. I will see you later. Bye.